a little rough this morning, but we're gonna manage guys' belt plug. Make sure you put it in. It's the most important thing about your vessel is that it floats. All right, good morning, guys. We're about to launch the vessel. Super Guide V16 launching it right now. Brittany's gonna show you what she does. I just back in, she kind of signals me. This is a two person launch, makes it easy. So at this point, we're just going to start backing the truck and boat into this river edge. See, the thing is, is that normally you'd be totally submerged at this point. She's going to give me a signal. She's going to go over and unhook the boat. I don't like unhooking it when it's on the steep edges because I've seen some bad situations with that boat slipping off the trailer. So now that we're level, she's going to start signaling me to come back into the water edge and I'm going to go as far back as I possibly can because as you can see, we're in like 12 to 15 inches of water. And uh, yeah, it's a complete joke at this one boat launch. It's a sketchy launch. You need to have two people for the most part. And my wife is wearing frog togs from Walmart, 48 bucks. They go all the way up to your butt and they keep you dry. So with that being said, she's gonna give it a couple of tugs once it starts feeling buoyant on that back end and it's gonna slip off. The second I see that, we both signal to each other, and boom, I'm pulling the trailer right out past her. She's staying back as far as she can, and she's gonna tug this thing right up to the shore edge so that I may jump in, and uh, yeah, there's kind of a little skinny edge I can shimmy on over and jump in the boat right there, so that's where she'll hold it. From my view in the truck, it's kind of the same situation here. I'll just be waiting for her and kind of watching out, making sure everything's looking good and then she's gonna send it back in. It was a little rough, you know, with the weather and stuff, and the, the launch is really rough, but for the most part, that is how you do it, boys. I put it in drive, I start driving out. Use your mirrors, make sure you're in tow, make sure you're in four wheel, especially for that kind of a launch, and uh, yeah, you're good to go. Heck yeah, guys. The truck, put the Discover Pass up, and we're good to head out. Crazy day out there, man, crazy. All right, I guess I'll just walk up the side again, right here. Frog togs, those keep her legs dry. Perfect. Yep, steep enough. Okay, boys, here it is. We're out on the water right now, and I mean, the waves are just white capping, but something I really, really like about this boat is it's almost 17 and a half feet long, and it is a deep V, which means that that V is just crushing through those white caps, and we now kind of can go beyond that distance where we're smashing down on the other side of a huge wake. So I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, this boat has been an absolute dream, especially in these harsher weather conditions or when it starts to get really harsh right before the transition where you can get out and get some big fish. Heck yeah. Guys, fun facts about Rock Lake. It's approximately 7.9 miles long and almost one mile wide. And the deepest points haven't even really been recorded yet because there are some points in this lake that are over 650 feet deep. It is a beast. 
This is Rock Creek. This is what feeds into the mouth of Rock Lake. And in the wintertime, when the water levels are up, man, is it gushing through there. Absolute beautiful sight. Rock Lake actually had a natural selection of trout up until 2018 and prior years they've been stocking it with uh, put and grow trout so these trout start out as a little over an inch long and I believe they stocked over 375,000 trout and now as you can see some of the trout that we are catching are upwards of 25 inches long so it's funny that this lake can grow trout even upwards of 20 pounds I've seen um, some people catching fish out of here. So this is a lake of giant trout and I think that this fall could host some of the biggest fish that we've ever caught. Because of the new Super Guide V16 we've managed to cover areas on this lake that we had never been to. So it makes it exciting for when the fall transition happens and the activity starts on the water. Guys, I've been doing a lot of tree stand hunting for white-tailed deer with my bow and man has this early season been a tough one. I didn't get anything, still haven't filled a tag, but we're not going to give up and November 25th will be late season to give another crack at that, sadly. But guys, thank you so much for watching Fish at a Repeat and taking the time out of your days to click on my videos and watch them. I really appreciate you. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you're new, welcome to the channel. We have a lot of new subs. If you have a Super Guide V16, it's cool that we could all kind of make a family around this boat, man. This boat has been absolutely amazing. Um, we're going to get out a lot this fall. As soon as the weather cools down, we're still getting some pretty high temperatures here in Washington State with uh, this September kind of running at the average of 90s and 95. It was hot. So I was up in the tree stand in almost 100 degrees in the sun sweating. And that doesn't make a good time for the deer movement, man. They just kind of bed down and don't do much. So I only saw two bucks for 10 days of tree stand sitting. It was wild. Guys, with that all being said, thank you again for watching Fish at a Repeat. We're going to keep getting out. We're going to stay active. And we're going to try to keep doing some uploads for y'all. Uh, stay tuned, you know. It's all up to the fish and the animals at this point. Bye.